My name is Tamoya, and I'm interested in how people could sort their digital photos the same way they sort their prints. So Tim, you said we can sort our digital photos with this thing? What is it? Yeah, well basically, you know, in the old days you used to be able to do it by hand. Well this lets you do it in the computer just the same way. You basically oh. take a look at photos, and if you're, there's a photo you're interested in, you can pull it into your river. Oh, so, so river this thing here? Yeah, it basically it's a little, like a little holding bay for you. And this is, this is mine, not, not, not yours. Exactly. I can't come over here and grab yours oh, or steal right. yours. I can't do anything over there. But so. what happens is if you pick a photo that I already have, it shows up down Oops. here, like you see right there. So I can take a look. Oh, there's one here that I like of yours. I'll grab it into my river, and again, it shows oh, up down, down here. Oh, it's down there. Below. Now, my river is moving slower than yours. Like what you can do is you can drag on the river surface and you change the direction, oh, change the speed. So I can make it go fast or slow or even freeze it. Exactly. Cool. Let's start some photos. All right. My name is Sandra Karina. This application is for little girls ages 4 to 10. As you can see, each cursor is assigned a color and is labeled with the user's name. As girls select drag and draw pieces of clothing to dress the doll, the color of the outline indicates which clothes belongs to which girl. The girls need to work together to add color to their outfits. Janelle is in control of where the color palette is placed and Sandra is in control of which item gets colored. When the girls have finished putting together their outfits, they would print their wardrobes. All there is left to do after that is to cut out the dolls and start playing. Hi, I'm Jim, and I made an SDG instrument called Musical Bands. So you have two inputs to the system. You can pluck the bands, you can resize the bands to get a different pitch, and you can do this dynamically. The two Inputs can pluck the bands independently, or they can work together to make a various range of sounds. Hi, my name is Jordan Sean, and I created a SDG game called O-Nuts. Uh, the goal of the game is simply to put the red nuts in the red hole, and the blue nuts in the blue hole. You accomplish this by um, grabbing the nuts with your robot, um, and the robot's arms are controlled by a combination of two mice. The first mouse is indicated by the, the white circle, the second mouse is indicated by the crosshair. And you work together as a team to um, pass the different colored nuts to each other. So. John McDonald, and I made a two-player typing game called Typo Blaster. Both players must be typing the same letter, well, the same word, at the same time. You can see a display for how far each player is through the current word. Uh, there are no repercussions for making spelling mistakes. When they finish the word, it gets blown away. It counts their score at the bottom right hand corner. It's designed to be a two player educational typing game. Destruction. Hi, my name is Petra and I made an SDG game called SDG Mind Bender. The game is played two people, each with their own mouse. First, each player puts their mouse over their own start box, and then tries to hit each of the five round targets with their mouse, where color indicates who touched the target first. Then the objective is to reach the other player's start box. After each level, the mouse orientation is rotated, making hand-eye coordination increasingly difficult. Let us now view a better version of a game between two friends. Note how it becomes increasingly difficult for them to hit the targets as the mouse is rotated after each level. With 
kids tap, each child can pick up a crayon and individually draw without interfering with the other person. However, when two people click together at the same spot, the combination of the colors is formed and the two children can draw together. When they let go, a new tool is created that they can now use with the combined color. Through collaboration, kids can learn how to share crayons, work individually, as well as how to work as a team to combine their efforts. Hello, my name is Tony Quach. Smooth Draw is a simple single display group wear drawing application. It focuses on smooth transitions of the pen strokes, namely its size and color. The pen strokes change via a mouse in the control panel grid, while the other mouse draws onto the drawing panel. For example, the control panel here is set to alter size and brightness. The default color was set to blue before any pen alterations. The size of the pen increases as the control panel mouse moves to the right, and the brightness increases when it moves upwards. The result is a progressively lighter blue whose pen size increases. The circle under both mice icons indicates which color will be drawn. There are a total of six different modifiers. Size, brightness, reds, greens, and blues, which change RGB values respectively, and lastly, opacity. Left clicking on any one of the custom color buttons will copy the current color and size to that control. Uh, let's have fun drawing. You draw and I'll control. Okay, let's draw a motion. Sure. Yahoo! Yeah. <laughs>